trip. <laughs> All right. Well, you were welcome to the city gates of Tel Don from the Israelite period, from the time of the 8th, 9th century of King Ahab. What you're looking at is the original gates from 2,800 years ago, the city walls of the original city, the Israelite city. There, this was the dirt was up to the bottom of the tree. None of this was, uh, you know, say start digging down. You're sitting on the judgment seat where the the uh, king of Ahab, the king Ahab, the kings of of the Israelites would sit. These are original um, where a post would be in in each one of these. There were four of them found. The post would be with a canopy over here, and we know the things that happens, you know, in the gates. We talked about the gates of Israel when we were in Megiddo, and so I won't go over the gates again. But one of the things you do see here is the sharp L-shaped turn to come in that would slow down, you know, people to attacking the village. And so you can see it real clearly here. You can see the L-shaped turn to come into the, the cities. This is original pavement from the Israelite period. Okay, you're seeing it 2,800 years ago. And what we're looking at over here, straight ahead here, we see a standing altar, okay, standing altar, or standing stones, an altar of standing stones. What were those standing stones, okay? I've read a number of different things about it, but the one that I, that really, like, makes sense to me is that is, like, when you're driving and you got a sign that tells you, you know, to go right, to go to, uh, Beth to Bethlehem or something like this. There's one here and there's one on the other side. And they all, and, and I think what they were for, some, some of the archaeologists say that that was a marker to point you that the altar is that way. Because everyone was coming here, they were coming here to the city, you know, to sacrifice at the altar of dawn. And so some people say that's what that was. In uh, 1994, I was talking about the minimalists and the maximalists, right? The archaeologists that said, you know, the minimalists say there was no King David. He's a myth. He didn't exist. And if he existed, he was just this little, you know, not important thing. And in 1994, they found right in, in this wall right here, here, okay, this is called the Tel Don Stella. The Tel Don Stella. They found this, they found this right over here. And they read from the house of David and proved once again the Bible came alive. When he fought back and my father laid down. Okay, so he's talking about, first of all, it starts from his fathers. I'm not the first one here. It starts from my fathers. He went to his ancestors. What does it mean? Yeah. He died. Exactly. You see, the Jews, the, the Israelites in the Bible, they didn't, maybe not in, maybe did not invent it. It was this is how they said. He went to his ancestors. Right? He died. And he, the king of Israel entered previously in my father's land. Sounds familiar? We're in Dan. Yeah. Danites came there and took Laish or Leshem. They took it from from his fathers. Now he's coming to return. And Hadad, who is Hadad? Hadad is an Assyrian king. No, it's actually a god. Because he says, oh, and Hadad okay. made me king. Okay. Hadad, so God also improved me. God, Hadad is actually this guy over there. It can also be Baal, Molech, different names for the same god. Mm -hmm. Hadad made me king. And Hadad went in front of me. Yeah? Like a shepherd going in front of the flock and departed from the seven of my kingdom. And I slew 70 kings who harnessed thousands of chariots and thousands of horsemen. I killed Jehoram, son of Ahab, king of Israel. And I killed Ahaziah, son of Jehoram, king of the house of David. Beit David, it's marked like in white, Beit David. And I said, their towns into ruins and took their land into desolation. Da, 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 da. It's more or less finished here. So, who won this morning? No, the Eagles. The, the Eagles, right? That makes a, makes a headline, right? They won against 
Giants. The giants, right? We just saw the Giants. So we won against the Giants. That makes a headline. You will not make a headline when, I don't know, uh, a small time, a, a, a big team wins Dallas against a small team. Nobody cares. <laughs> but wait, it's a big faction. You put the, you make a sign of it, and you put it in the entrance to the end, to the city, right? Yeah, wow. The battle was fought here, and not just against anyone, against the house of David. And this is from the ninth century. That's about a hundred years after David uh, uh, ruled. Mm. And this shows us, first of all, that they acknowledge this is not the Israelites. It's not the Bible. It's not the Israelites uh, right. talking about themselves. Right. It's another faction that is telling about the house of wow. David. Mm. And still today, and, and, and truly until this was found, people say, ah, it's just a made-up story. It's <laughs> the house of David. It's just a hundred years later. 